Jäger syndrome is characterized by hamartomatous polyps of the GI tract, mucosal and cutaneous melanotic pigmentation of the lips, oral mucosa, genitalia and palms of the hands, and there is an increased risk of tumors both malignant and benign. The inheritance of Perzjäger syndrome is autosomal dominant and is caused by a mutation of the STK11 gene on chromosome 19 and it affects between 1 in 50,000 and 1 in 200,000 births and the average age of presentation is around 18 years. In Perzjäger syndrome there is an increased risk of carcinoma developing in the gastrointestinal tract particularly in the jejunum. There is an increased risk of carcinomas of the pancreas, breast, lung, ovary, uterus and cervix and also sex scored stromal tumours of the ovary and large cell calcifying Sertoli cell tumour of the testis and this is also a type of sex cord stromal tumour. Perzjäger polyps may present with pain due to intersusception. They are large pedunculated and lobulated, the glands are lined by normal epithelium and there is an arborizing network of connective tissue and smooth muscle from the unusually prominent muscularis mucosae that extend between the glands and in 2-6% to of Perzjäger polyps foci of dysplasia or invasive carcinoma may be found. The most frequent sites in which Perzjäger polyps arise in decreasing order are small bowel, colon and stomach. Here is a Perzjäger polyp of the colon. It is large, lobulated and pedunculated. And this is the polyp after it has been bisected. And this is another gross example of a Perzjäger polyp. You can see from the ruler above that it is several centimetres in diameter. This is a very low power view of a gastrointestinal Perzjäger polyp and you can see at the centre of it there is a thick bundle of smooth muscle from the muscularis, rather like a tree trunk. And if we follow the tree trunk of smooth muscle into the polyp, this divides into branches of smooth muscle and connective tissue, hence the term arborizing. In contrast to adenomatous polyps where the epithelium is dysplastic, in Perzjäger polyps the epithelium is not dysplastic, although foci of dysplasia and or carcinoma, as I said earlier, can arise within a Perzjäger polyp in about 2-6% to of cases. But in this polyp, if we look at a high power, you can see that the epithelium is not dysplastic. 